Hello and welcome to another tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn how to create a fairly simple yet nice looking video intro for YouTube. It doesn't require too much knowledge and can be completed pretty fast. Let's see the intro first. First go to the Create panel, and place a text shape. Change the font style and text to anything you like. Apply the bevel modifier for the similar results as mine, follow my steps, or play around with the settings until you're pleased. Now from the Create panel, place the P-Array Particle System. Make sure the text or your logo can fit inside of the Array box. While the Array is still selected, in the Modify panel pick the text object. Scroll down to the bottom, and load the Blast preset. In order to customize the blast animation, play around with the settings in the particle generation tab. In order to delay the animation a bit, increase the emit start option. Changing the seed value will change the whole blast effect on the model.
since the PRA is only visible after frame 10 now, we have to animate the visibility of the untouched logo, so that one is visible until frame 9, and that it disappears after frame 10. We are doing that by keyframing the visibility object property of the logo on frame 1, 9 and 10. The explosion is done, now we need a camera. Now select the camera, and while auto key is turned on, move it around the way you want it to fly by. The first part of the intro is done, and you can render it out. It might seem too fast. I actually adjusted the speed later in a video editing software, to slow down the animation.
to create a camera flyby around the exploded text, we need to convert the PRA to a mesh. To do that, go to the create panel and from the compound objects place a mesher onto the PRA. Click on the pick object and select the PRA. Now the mesher will take the form of the exploded text, and we will be able to convert it to editable poly at whichever frame we want. But first we have to align it to the PRA. Hide everything except the mesher, and you are ready to animate the camera around the exploded parts. I hope you liked this tutorial and will find it useful. For any questions leave a comment, and rate the video. Thank you. Bye-bye.